Hey everyone, so I decided to make this video, it's going to be a pretty short one, just to explain my, uh, I guess you could say, absence from making videos. Right now I'm waiting on uh, YouTube to monetize my channel again. I used to be monetized, lost monetization, monetization when they made the standards a little bit harder, and uh, with my recent comeback of WoW, they decided to, well, I easily reach the standards again and I'm eligible for monetization. So I'm waiting to hear what YouTube or waiting to hear back from YouTube, waiting to see what they do and then I'm going to decide what I want to do with this channel. Specifically, if they deny me, I'm going to keep making videos. They're just going to be the normal videos that you see that are low quality editing and stuff like that. Uh well, no editing actually. Just as they have been basically. If they do accept me, which I think is probably high likelihood, I make original content, it's completely under fair use. I mean, it's completely ambiguous, it's apolitical, it's, for the most part, what I think YouTube wants. If they do accept me, then what I am going to do is probably get like Sony Vegas or some sort of editing software, and I'm going to try to make better quality videos, ones that would actually attract a lot of people because I realize these sorts of videos the like non-edited ones aren't they don't attract a wide audience as like other a whole bunch of the other people that are making wow videos like punk rat uh there's a few others that are completely slipping in my mind but there's people that make higher quality videos than me with this a better follower count subscriber count view count and that's the reason that they get a better count because of the better edited videos they focus more on entertainment for the most part than information from what i've seen and i'm still going to focus mostly on information rather than entertainment but there's a lot of things that i could do in my videos that could make them better like show the tool tips on the screen at the very same time as i'm talking about something there's little things i can do like that which would make the overall experience more enjoyable for everybody and also, in the meantime, uh, while I'm waiting on them to monetize me or to hear back what they're going to do, I'm working on a Final Fantasy 15 walkthrough, full walkthrough for the game and all of the downloadable content. Right now, I'm actually doing the uh, episode prompto, which is, uh, eh, I guess. I don't really like DLC in games because it's usually just shit meant to waste your time. And, I mean, this definitely does just basically waste my time like just 11 completely useless pointless side quests that serve almost no purpose it's uh yeah it's dlc but the game itself is actually pretty good i'm enjoying final fantasy 15 quite a bit and also i'm going to be doing a walkthrough for uh the witcher 3 since i've had friends ask me or tell me that that is a uh, a good game and uh <laughs> everybody told me it's a game i couldn't do a full walkthrough for because too many quests influence other quests, and I was like, all right, well, I doubt I can't do a walkthrough for it. And I started playing the game, and I definitely can do a walkthrough for it, and I'm going to do a walkthrough for it. It's going to be a walkthrough of all of the main quests, as well as all of the side quests. And yes, I understand that's a daunting task. We'll see if I get to actually complete them all, but I'm going to try. And these games are going to be my first real foray into newer games, uh, as you guys have Anybody that's followed me for a while will know I mostly only do like retro guides as well as guides for World of Warcraft and uh, EverQuest and basically all older games like before 2010 for the most part. And these games are going to be the first new games that I'm doing guides for in almost forever. Like almost half a decade if not longer. And I'm mostly doing it because I want to try to advertise my brand and... I can do my I can advertise my brand much better when the games I'm actually advertising are popular and people care about them. If I write guides for like Final Fantasy 4, which I, I actually did just complete a full walkthrough for Final Fantasy 4 like 4 weeks ago something like that. I can't advertise that guide. Nobody really I mean people do still care about that game, but nobody's, you know, looking actively looking for new information on some sort of advertisement for that game. I can advertise, though, Final Fantasy XV, Witcher 3, and the other game I bought was Dragon Quest XI. So, those are my plans, and that's basically all I got to say. If you guys enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, let me know. If uh, you guys have any recommendations, too, for content that you would like to see if I start editing, please let me know, because I'm definitely looking for recommendations for that. 
I have a few ideas in mind, but if people tell me what they want, I can give them what they want. Anyway, that's all. See you in the next video.